And guess what? We survived the night. Cool. Very happy about that. Uh, let's inspect the base. Is anything wrong with it? No. No attempts of anything anywhere. I left this door open by accident. Uh huh. Seems okay. Seems okay. Okay. Well, what we have to do now is get more scrap. Um, this is quite important that we get all the scrap we can. So at that point I decided the best place for me to go is to the desert and to the dome. Alright, so we made it to the top of the dome and this is what we have so far. Once I was finished at the dome, I decided to run back to my base, but on the way back there was a scientist in the spot that killed me in the same place as episode 2, so I took revenge. We're going to take out this scientist quite easily I'm sure. Ooh. Just like I said. Seriously. Oh my gosh, bro. This is a bit awkward. Played this game in such a long time. It's been like more than two years. Last bandage. Done. Kill this other scientist. Once I was done collecting scrap, I decided to head back to base and research a bunch of items. Headed out to outpost, and on my way back to base, I noticed that my neighbor's base had something quite wrong with it, but I only realized once I was close up to the base. But it was interesting to say the least. This is very cool. So I must say so for myself. Let's go see where it was that was trying to push me away. There he is. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, that's strange. This is Bathus Thompson that I saw at a shop somewhere on the map. I think this is it. That is not it. This one? No. This one. Oh my gosh, it's 35 crude oil. I'm going to be just as confused about my neighbor's base in just a second. What happened? What? We need to head back to base quickly. That is some big loot. I did not even know about that. And the funny thing is, I actually didn't even see this guy the whole while. I mean, I only saw him once. Or heard him once. And the one time I saw his foot sticking out the base, and that was that. I mean, but now he's like... Dead. Raided or is that the K? After all of that, I quickly headed back to Outpost again just so that I can get a bit more scrap so I can go get that Thompson I really wanted. There it is. Thank you very much. And of course, since I'm trying to get all the blueprints I can within 7 days, I need to go on another scrap run. Ladder, sweet. I need that. This could be needed for the ladder hitch. While 
I was in the desert I came to the realization that I need way more bullets and meds to go through these tunnels. So that's exactly what I did. And of course I was going to research more before going out to go and do more sh stuff out there. Out there. the one station at There's outpost, an just the outpost station. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, the is still there. I guess I'll go to. Yeah, let me just go check. All right, thanks, man. Go. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. You have to go down two different elevators to get in these tunnels. But as the guy said, he cleared out most of it, so I actually had to run quite a long way still. And yeah, it just took long and it was annoying. Much food out of that. Not much food. Hey, hey, I forget I need to take out some of these sciences as well. That was close. Ah, uh, hey. Pushed buttons there that I wasn't supposed to push. That's all I got from this run. I mean, it wasn't that successful, it was a bit of train. Uh, the underground train tunnels and then above ground. I mean, our rates doing it above ground is just better for me at the moment. I don't know. I'm not getting. Hit. It's actually worse going underground than staying above ground. So, with that noted, uh, yeah, let's carry on researching some stuff and yeah, see where we can get to. At the end of the day, we need to clear some level 3 items as well.
Okay, so I am ready to go now for another scrap run. I'm going to run to airfield. From the airfield, I will be running my way down to Bandit Camp. I need to go get... Um, where is it now? I need to get one blue card and one red card because I am, mm -hmm. looking, I am looking at doing the train yard puzzle. And, you know, for the puzzle, you need the cards, so let's work on getting that. Sounds like someone is here at the airfield. I'm going to take them out here, if we can. Nothing really cooking. He's inside his base. Uh, let's not mess around here. I think we just go. Aww. We should just go now and go get uh, those red and the red and blue key card. Alright, so we've made it here to Bandit Cabin. Now, we've got enough scrap now to go buy the things we need and then we're gonna head off back to base. Alright, so it is this shop over here, I believe. Scrap exchange? Bro. I did not realize that that was. I did not realize that was what was happening here. Now, I don't know why I thought that that's how it worked. Um, but yeah, you know, you make mistakes, that's how it goes. So, what do I do here? Buy a pistol and I have no ammo to run home with, or do I buy night vision goggles and wait for the night to fall? Yes, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I need to get back into things and things will work out. It might not be happening right now, but things will work out. So I'm just going to wait for daybreak, I mean night time. I don't think the sun is going to take that much longer to go down. So let's just sit back and relax and wait for the night to come by. Let's quickly do a run to the airfield, check what's happening there, and then let's just take a quick peek past that guy's base. I mean, since we have night vision goggles, we might as well use it. Right 
No, I don't think he was there. Afterwards, I decided to run back to base, research a few more items, and then after that, head out back to outpost for some more scrapping and other stuff. Let's get going to outpost, get some of those things done, uh, like scrapping, just some of the extra stuff I had with me at my base that I don't need, and then we're going to buy the blue card. And then let's go hit the train yard. Okay, I am ready to go to the train yard now. I'm gonna quickly go look for a fuse. Uh, I usually find them around train yard quite easily. So I'm just gonna qu quickly gonna smack some barrels here with this uh, compound or this, uh, I mean this crossbow. And then once I have done that, I'll literally throw this whole crossbow away if I don't need it anymore. I was pretty confident all the scientists were dead. Later. Okay, I have got my one fuse. I'm quickly gonna go do train yard. Uh, let's just see if we can do the puzzle. Should be interesting. Now I'm asking myself this question: Did I actually even need a fuse? Research level one. I think it's like the, the last uh, level one item I need to research. I don't know if anything else. I don't know if this is researchable. I don't think so. It is. Okay. Well, we will research one of those. And then what else can we do? Um, not much. I think from here we need to go follow that tree. Uh, the scrap tree and then from there we can take it further Alright, what do we need to do? We need to get down to this area here uh, 
turtle quite a lot. Um, over here, I have a chance. Um, I think let's do this. What the hell is this? Extended magazine. That's interesting. Okay, well, I don't know what that was, an extended magazine. I've never seen that. That's going to be, I guess, for tomorrow. We'll see what that is about. For now, I think we can just say this is day four done. Glitter G, out. Yeah, it is quite late in the evening. I didn't get to play much during day five. And so I think... It's pretty much day six now, you could say. It is the following day uh, from day four. Uh, so, like I said, I didn't play day five at all. Uh, it is day six, and it's actually 1.16 in the morning. So it is a bit uh, late. But at the moment, there's only like five players online. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to head off and go and do a big scrap farm ok so I'm just taking over this little place that I found here I mean it's just going to be a good place for me to just store my loot for now um, I'm quickly going to go to that workbench that I want to tap here and uh, quickly just make myself a sword so I can destroy those two sleeping bags and then I can place my own sleeping bag inside there. Really, I just want to make something. Oh, you gotta be joking! Oh no! I need to quickly run back. For the record, I love using shotgun traps on my own base, but every time I come into contact with another shotgun trap, yeah, I always die to those. and then I decided to go to dome because there was a crate on top of it and you can bet I'm gonna go to base and chilled for 15 minutes and then I went back to the dome again.
good amount of loot. So we have safely made it back to our base, that's a good thing. I mean, geez, you won't believe it. The amount of loot I just got now, look at this. It's it's actually crazy, it's 1,700 scrap and then all these extra goodies. Rockets, uh, you know, I need to study the salvage aspect as well. I've already got this weapon studied, so I don't need to study it again. Now I have an MP5, which I've already studied, but here's the extended mag in it. Gives you an extra 8 bullets, I think. And um, yeah, a bit of sulfur, um, a lot of high coal. I think we need to go exchange all our high coal for scrap, uh, but we will do that once we've gathered more up. I need to get an AK also studied so I can use these rifle bodies. And Balti, I need to study that still. So there's still a few things I need to study. So this will only essentially get me three level three items studied and one level two. And then I have to get more scrap again. So yeah, this is not the end. Okay, so I just put the rocket in and I only realized now it's 125. So that's there. Um, let's do this. Already researched. I don't remember doing that, but anyway. There's a level 1 item. We might as well just research it. Since we already researched this, we can just put it in the repair bench and leave it there in case we need it. But we don't really because we've got jackhammers. Let's research the rest of the things we need. So, what are we going to research here? We need a rocket launcher. Uh, we'll take Harvalos. We'll take that as well. Uh, we need to do this. This. And then the wool. Um, electrical components. I'm not too sure if I want to do that right now. There are a few things here that I don't really consider myself using uh, let me just research to that those do come in handy on certain base builds and then the battery I don't have enough okay so I only have 45 scrap left well we did get a lot of research there I mean uh, I can't say we didn't oh, 110 we have enough actually just to quickly research that let's just research this battery because um, you never know medium large generator I wouldn't know. There is an item I'm missing there then I would need it. It's not one of these, it's that other red one. Uh, I forgot what it's called now. But anyway it doesn't matter too much. 35 scrap left and we researched quite a good amount of items. So I would say level 2 items for us is complete. We don't need to research everything but I will, I will say if we get enough scrap I will just, I will just go for it and just research every last item here. Uh, but I mean, we would need an insane amount of scrap to do all of that. We'll need to make some bullets. Um, running out of these bullets. So, I mean, especially with this weapon, I don't know how many bullets this thing takes. I think it's like a hundred or something. Let's try and see how much we can load in here. Sixty. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, that works out pretty well. Ah. Nice weapon. And we still got more metal that we can use to make what? Just the bullets. Let's make some pistol bullets. That's, that's okay. Alright, um, I think let me go get the boat sorted out and then we will wait for cargo to come out. Unless something else comes up along the way, but for now, yeah, that's the plan. At that point I realized it was 5 in the morning, so I had to go to bed so that I could scrap another day. 
So of course I woke up and I got right back at it. I didn't hesitate to carry on scrapping and doing what I needed to do. After such a lovely start to the morning, I decided to go to fishing village, buy a boat so that I could be ready as soon as cargo came out. Okay, all I can say is I've not edited any sound effects out, so I don't actually know why the hell it's quiet. It's actually super quiet. But I have noticed now on my way back that uh, the car goes out, so I'm going to be dropping some stuff off that base and I'm going to be heading straight for cargo, no doubt about it. So I'll see you guys at cargo. Okay, so we have made it here to the cargo and it looks like That's scientists or that's people now? I guess it's scientists. Let's just get on board and see what's happening. Oh. I don't know if you saw that, but that... Did you see that? Or was it... Uh, for a second there, I thought I was getting snapped or bolted or something through the window gap here. I was like, that guy is insane. I will never be able to compete with that guy. It's impossible. There's no ways. And then I realized... Like, I don't know, I just... Dude. Rust, bro. Um, yeah. What the hell was that about? Fuck, that confused the shit out of me, man. And I'm still hearing a scientist. Uh, it's probably down the stairs here. Let me go check. It's done. I'm gonna ride this uh, cargo just a little longer. Oh, not a bad run, eh? Dropped off all the good items and then ran back to the boat to collect the rest. 
Safely made it back to my base with all the loot. And then at daybreak I went to go check out a decayed or raided base. I wasn't sure what was going on, but that's why I went to go check it out. And since the base wasn't decaying, I actually really still couldn't figure it out. So I just gave up on the base and I decided to carry on with whatever I'm doing because this was just a complete waste of time and I, at the moment I don't want to waste time. I've got only one day left to research as much as possible. Hi. Hello. So how's your wife going? It's actually going alright. Eh? I'm busy just uh, getting enough scrap so that I can prepare myself for the map up. And yours? Yeah, that's, that's what we're trying to do as well. We literally we joined today to be able to get blueprints for next for the next wipe. Only today. Yeah, uh, a little bit late to the party. Yeah, you guys have got a bit of catch up to play now, eh? Yeah, that's okay. Well, I can give you this, and that might help. Woo, thank you so much. Alright, not a problem, bro. That's, 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 that's always a good, like, good way to research things. Yeah, man, it'll help you out. Thanks, bud. Alright, keep on, man. Go, go, go. You go. After researching quite a few items, I actually noticed that the crate was sitting at water treatment for quite a while. So I decided to head over there and see what's happening. Time where I made the mistake that I thought you could buy the cars at Bandit Camp, but I was completely wrong. Hello? Hi? 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 Bye? Hi? 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 Is this car too broken for me to sell? Oh. After getting the scrap, I came back home, researched a few more items. And you guess it. Alright guys, we are here by the crates. It looks like nobody has even bothered. It started getting a little bit late. So I decided to go back to base, set up an electrical system, put down a turret or two, and then I could log off feeling safer, maybe coming back to a base on day 7.
I also noticed the battery wasn't getting enough charge so I had to clear a few trees so that the solar panels could get some sunlight. And with that, day 6 is complete. Now for day 7. So it is day 7 and uh, this is probably the final day, it's actually been quite a journey so far, um, yeah it's been different, especially recording for you guys to watch, uh, whoever is watching that's going to obviously, you know, they will be able to see that this is quite the journey that we are going on, um, it's not it's not to say that it's always going to be easy um, and smooth sailing because I know that rust is not not just like this you know I'm, I'm actually lucky that I haven't been raided yet um, I haven't logged in yet so we're gonna see if we've been raided and uh, we'll, we'll probably find out soon enough if that's the case if not we can carry on getting scrap if we have been raided and there's not much we can really do, but uh, we will still go and try and get some scrap and research some things. Um, we don't have explosive C4, or Balti yet, if I'm correct. And a scope for the Balti. But the main question is, have we been raided? Let's log in and find out. If you haven't already, please give this video a like. Oh, guys. I think that's been a wrap. Oh, well. Let's, uh... Let's see what happened here. setting up and fixing up my base so I could basically carry on with the day. base is finally secure and I'm ready to head out and continue scrapping. So yeah, this is how it went. Hello? 
Thank you for sticking around till the end of this video. If you would like to see more, you can go to visit part 1 that is on the channel. And there is my first video that I've ever made for YouTube. But as you can tell, the videos are only going to get better and better as we go. They will not get worse. And if they do, please comment down below and let me know what you would like to see and how I can improve for you as a viewer. But thank you guys for watching and I appreciate you. See you in the next one.